welcome to another episode of New Gameplay. Today, I'm your host, Jeff Cork, joined today by Marcus Stewart. Hey, hey. Hey. And Alex Van Aken. Hello. Gentlemen, what are we looking at? This is Alba, a wildlife adventure by us two. The same studio that brought us the Monument Valley games on mobile. Mm. Two very fun, two very beautiful puzzle games that I've personally enjoyed. And this is a very different thing. As you can see, there's no... MC Escher weirdness. There's no weird impossible staircases. There's mm. just your your grandmother there talking to you. And the idea to, uh, it's a grandparent game is what you're trying to tell me. Um, yes, it's the uh, AARP official licensed game. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah, finally. And uh, yeah, the idea of this game is that you control this uh, little girl named Alba. You're on this island, kind of like a vacation destination with your family, but it's kind of Dirty. Dirty? So it's of, yeah, it's kind of fallen into disarray, let's say. And your job is to go around and to, to clean it up and to remind the residents of the uh, the island's natural beauty. Okay. Uh, so How you do you see, do that? Well, one of the things you can do, you see what I did there is that I uh, filled that uh, empty thing up with bird seed and that attracted some birds. Hmm. And this is just the beginning of the game. So like right before this is a very short little prologue chapter. Uh kind of introducing you to the game's premise. I just got my cell phone there, um, which is kind of your main kind of menu item in your main form of like interaction. Like, like Animal things. Crossing. Yeah, pretty much just like Animal Crossing. And as you can see there, they're kind of showing me how you're going to catalog animals. OK, so you see there, I just found that new animal identifying now. It's a, uh, a house sparrow. Oh, so we've got that. sort of a Pokemon Snap, No Man's Sky, like classifying wildlife going on. Yeah, that's one of the many ways you're kind of uh, cataloging the island. You go around mm -hmm. and just take pictures of things. Oh, I love this. So you have to manually say yes or no to things by like oh, okay. wiggling the <laughs> stick to, <laughs> to nod your head. And it's very goofy because it kind of takes a little while before the game will like recognize that you're agreeing so you're like nodding your head like a madman for a yeah. while that's uh, funny putting some laundry away and that's kind of one of the little tasks that you can do here is that uh you'll see like you can pick up laundry and fold it and put it away there's garbage cans that you can fill uh with trash that you pick up and what i love about this game is that it has a very relaxed vibe uh much in the way of a short hike i don't know if okay. you gentlemen have played that game mm -hmm. one of my favorite games in, in recent years Love that okay. Game. Oh, wow. Okay. I, I too love that game. And that's one of the first things I thought of when playing this is that you're on this island and you're just going around talking to people and picking up really light, breezy little missions mm -hmm. and just doing tasks and just kind of hanging out. And as the more you explore, you kind of get like your quest log explodes pretty quick with things to do. Um, so, so I know like in a short hike, you would like come across a hiker and they're like, hey, I've lost my hat. Can you go find it? And I'll trade you if you find it, I'll trade you this item uh, like for the shovel or whatever. Is that the sort of stuff like these quests that you're doing? Like, are they fetch quests? Are you getting items in return? Like, what's that whole system look like? So, yeah, it's very similar. Like one of the things I found a squirrel that had uh, eaten some goop. And so I had to go find a vet to come and uh, fix the squirrel. And then in turn, the vets give me a, a first aid kit and then it opened a whole nother mission type of like, hey, you can go around and. Uh, kill sick animals now and it's like cool. okay but everything is in service of a larger structure where kind of like a short hike where you kind of the goal was to get to the top of this mountain you were on this island for i believe five days or a week mm -hmm. and you're trying to stop or convince people to go against the mayor because mm -hmm. he wants to build a hotel where this beloved nature preserve used to be ah. and so, and so you and your little cousin, uh, so we'll be seeing her in a little bit. Uh, you guys kind of formed this like wildlife rescue organization, just the two of you, because in the prologue chapter, you and your family rescue a stranded dolphin. And it kind of makes you the talk of the town. And so to kind of uh, convince people to maybe push back against this hotel, you're trying to get signatures for a petition. And so there's like 50 signatures you need. So that's kind of the overarching goal is to try to do enough things for everyone on the island so that you can get enough signatures to bring to the mayor, who is maybe a little bit of a creep. OK, look at that sheep there. I just yeah, 
That's a big sheep. Let me tell you. Yeah. Yeah. It's really nice. <laughs> this looks, so it looks like all the it looks like all the animals are real animals. Are they, did you run into any like fanciful critters? No, these are all real life things. So what yeah, a no poster. No, no Pokemon, no <laughs> Tim Tim here. I know. I can mean, we there's... can we make them battle? <laughs> Um, I have not gone to that point yet. I would I'm guessing sh- not, but yeah. <laughs> that'd be pretty shocking. But just like yeah. you know that that bunny got, and that, got, that sparrow just go after each other, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, that's a real pro move I did there. I got two in one shot. Look at this. Look at wow. That. Yeah. You know what you're doing. You've you've you know your way around a smartphone. I'll say that. I've taken pictures of common wood pigeons all the time. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. looks like the the exact sort of game I'm kind of wanting to like close the year out. Like, just like a relaxing, you know. Not nothing too serious. Yeah, that's why I liked a short hike, especially was, you know, mm-hmm. you just kind of like go and, and kind of exist and, and play in this this little tiny open world almost. Um, exactly. Yeah, hey. this is cool. And it's interesting that that us two kind of took the game in this direction because like their previous games were so linear and, and constrained, you know, Monument Valley one and two. Those are some of my favorite games. Um this is a very interesting departure for sure i I'm, I'm really into it i was surprised at how quickly i fell in love with it um and i think like you were saying like in a year that's been very uh, a bit of a downer some might say i know that might be a controversial stance to say some would say yeah yeah you know but um this has been uh surprisingly uh relaxing yeah. it's got a great soundtrack um it's actually got a so like everyone in the island is uh Latino, so it's got a kind of Latin American flair to it with nice. the music and the, uh, you know, everyone speaks Spanish, at least that I found. Got that duck there, I think that was. We need Dan Tack to confirm that, but. <laughs> Rolling her different animations when she's running, she's doing like an airplane kind of zoom, and then she's also skipping. Is that something you're toggling? Um, Yeah, the, like the longer you hold the stick, she'll get into a little skip there. Okay. That's adorable. Also, you notice that she's got her hat. Reminds me of Ash Ketchum. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Also, there's your cousin. Mm-hmm. So we're at the ceremony right now where the mayor is going to announce the uh, the uh, hotel. Mm. Every Everyone's confused. They don't know what's going on. They're like, oh, we're having a wondering about the nature preserve. They're in for a, a rude awakening. So I know like you mentioned like a lot of the creatures that you're photographing. They're all based in, you know, real life. Um do you find that there's a lot of things to still capture? Like, I feel like when you have like more like fantastical creatures, like you can kind of like, you know, fill out that, that roster, that Pokedex a little easier. Um, do you find like in your, I know you haven't finished the game, but like, has there been a, a influx of like new creatures as you go? Oh, for sure. Like that, that's one of the ongoing quests in this game. Like when you first get the phone, it's like, hey, take pictures of three animals. And then once you do, it's like, take pictures of six and then 12 and then 20. And I think I'm up to 30 now. Okay, um, wow. And then it's not just that you're taking pictures of them, but you can also use them for other puzzles where you'll, there are these scattered, uh, like what do you call those like nature boards? Like when you go like at a, at a park and it got- Oh yeah, like, like a trailhead board. Yeah, they're like, hey, these things live here. So- You'll find uh, those things around that are damaged and just weathered, and you can replace the pictures there with your pictures. So, but it's kind of like a puzzle where some of the pictures might be obscured or the name is missing. So you kind of have to look at your phone and be like, "Do I have this bird that they drew here?" And then just kind of paste it on there. Uh, so it's you know it's nothing super deep, but it's just another fun little use for you know your pictures that you're taking. Do you also take pictures of the residents? I, I, you do. In fact, that's where the game starts, actually. Like, you start as playing, like, infant Alba, and you, your wow. grandparents, for some reason, trust you with their phone, even though you're literally, like, one year old and you a picture <laughs> with them. <laughs> so, I don't know how you, I don't know what that says about Alba. It's just, like, cognitive skills. But, oh. yeah, occasionally you'll take pictures of your family. You can take pictures of people's pets, and it'll catalog it. Like, I went into town and found someone's like Scottish Terrier and I was like, huh, I wonder if this will count for anything. And it's like, oh yeah, it's registered in your thing. So I don't know if that's going to mean anything, <laughs> but there it is. Okay. So I got 12 animals there. My cousins were going to go. I like that this, I like the vibe that this is, this is bringing the like, almost like marsh, like 
<laughs> you know, high grass. It's it's a fun aesthetic to kind of pick through and explore. Yeah, it seems like a really great place to get a whole bunch of ticks on your legs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so look at that. I just cleaned up that place, and you see by cleaning it up, it brought the birds back. Okay, I'm starting to get it now. Oh. I gotcha. So, so like by completing find... these community tasks, you are then bringing back the wildlife to exactly. take more photos. That's the loop. Okay, got it. Yeah, so if you want to find everything, you got to clean everything up. And the same with those uh, bird feeders that get more birds to attract in an area that maybe you're having trouble finding. So I'm trying to get that guy. It's another great shot. Pretty proud of these photos, actually, guys. Yeah, that's really good. Is there oh, any oh, way oh. that you could, is there any way to see like your photo gallery of the photos you've taken? You do. Yeah, um, if you see on the D-pad in the corner, kind of like your log there is, uh, I think it's the uh, okay, less D-pad. Yeah. yeah. And could you take it a step further and like upload your photos straight to like social media? That I do not know. There is a download like symbol when you take a picture. I haven't used it yet. So it seems like you can download it to something. I don't know if it's like an in-game thing or if it lets you take it beyond the game. Hmm. Okay. Maybe press halter top, probably. You think? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you think Twitter would be cool to see my bird pictures, guys? You think that'll get me some likes? I think so. Like, if you have the right hashtags, of course. Okay, like hashtag like birds. birds. Yeah, bird, I mean that, that's a good starting spot. Yeah, maybe, bird. maybe I'll, I'll tag Birdman the rapper. I, I, I mean, maybe he likes you know mallards, mallard ducks. Yeah, especially these ones that are apparently. Let's see. Was I right? Northern shoveler. Yeah, duh. Classic okay. blunder. <laughs> <laughs> these redheaded ones. What are? Oh, not interested. How many, how many hours do you think this runs? Do you have an approximation? I think the press really said it's around five to six hours. And it seems like that. Like when it, look at the map, the island's pretty big, okay. um, but not like ridiculous or anything. There's a lot of people to talk to. Um, they each seem to have their own little weird little task tied to them because you are trying to get 50 signatures. Right. Um, so right now I have six and I'm about an hour in. Mm hmm. You got a ways then, to go then. Yeah. And then I, I'm wondering how the day cycle or the week cycle works. Cause like at the end of the day, you get a text from your mom saying like, Hey, you got to come home from dinner and your cousin will go. And it seems like you're free to go home whenever you want, but you know, the sun does set eventually. And I'm wondering mm -hmm. if I actually have to get that many signatures by the deadline or if the game will just kind of work itself to, to where you do it. Mm -hmm. uh, oh wait, here we go. This is important. There you go. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. uh, so when's this thing out, Marcus? Um, this is out December, I believe, the eleventh. Oh. And yep. what's it on? It is on Steam. Uh -huh. And I believe it's just uh Steam for now. Steam and Apple Arcade, I believe. Or Apple Arcade, yes. Yeah. And console. It seems like it was soon. designed by an AI specifically for Nintendo Switch, but that could just be me. Yeah, yeah and, I think so. <laughs> and never, you know, never can say never. But yeah, I want to keep playing it. I'm having a great time with it. Um, I like the environmentalist slant because it doesn't like beat you over the head with it. Like, that's not what it's going for. But it is kind of like a commentary. Like, hey, pick up your garbage. Don't throw your stuff on the ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Conservation got, is important. It is. And, you know, it's a fun, relaxing thing right now, especially. And it's a nice, breezy uh, palate cleanser in between all these huge releases that we've had recently. It's really cute. Thanks for showing it off. For sure. And thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Wow, that person was really good at playing that game. Those other people were really good at talking about it, too. If you find yourself saying either of these things, subscribe to Game Informer on YouTube for new episodes of New Gameplay Today, every week covering the hottest new and upcoming releases.